Oh, there. there we are. Oh, hello. Hey, Nosy Neighbors <laughs> fans. It's Jessica Cardin here with the Nosy Neighbors at Murdoch Manwaring Company, your neighbors in the know. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, it's a really hot day, and so I knew for sure you'd want me to talk to this lady today. We're going to talk to Kelly, the owner of Sweet Tooth Ice Cream Truck. And you might hear a little music and get excited. I bet you're, you're salivating already from all of the trained trained um, glands that say uh, that truck, that sound means that it's time. So if you take a moment right now and share this video out, we would love to make sure that they get plenty of exposure. Go back and check out any of the other videos that we've done of local. There we are. Hey, <laughs> we're back. That was exciting. And wait, so, hold your phone, so wait, hold on. I got to share it because I want you guys to share it right now. Share it to your Facebook page or I mean your page, share it right now out and let's get some exposure to the ice cream truck that we're gonna talk about with Kelly right now. So let's get over and check it out. Hi Kelly. Hello. Look at this cute truck. Up in the air or something. Go. There it is. Hey, <laughs> we're back. Okay, we're gonna hurry. Kelly. So we are at the Sweet Tooth ice cream truck. Right now we're here at Funland at Toffus Park. Yes. But this is a truck, so it travels around. That's right. So let's get out the logistics first, Kelly. Okay. How do they find the truck? Maybe. Okay, all right. Here we go. And we're back. <laughs> Kelly, okay, how do they find the truck, Kelly? So I do cruise around the neighborhoods. I visit most of the parks in Idaho Falls, uh, the splash pads. Uh, you can find me on my the Sweet Tooth Facebook page. I also have uh, a website. Link below, by mm -hmm. the way. I know, man. It's <laughs> just not. Get really close. Okay, okay, we're hey, we're back. <laughs> okay, so splash pads, you go around to the parks, yep. but your website. Yes, I have a website, um, which is sweet tooth, S W T, number two, T H dot com. Link below, by the way. And my Facebook page is sweet tooth ice cream truck. Now, it is a Facebook group. Do they have to join to get in, or is it a public group? It's a public group. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Yep. So they can jump in on it no matter what. That's correct. Yep. Fantastic. And I also do birthday parties and things like that. So in cater spot. Okay. And we're back. <laughs> so you do catering. So you'll come to a birthday party. Yes, I you'll come, come to, to an event. Yep. How do they get you to do that? And how much does that cost? So what I normally do is just have them call me. I've got my phone number on my website and on my page. So you can call me, you can text me, you can message me in any way um, and just say, hey, we want you to show up to my birthday party. Um, I've done 4th of July events for Melaleuca before. Mm -hmm. um, so I do all kinds of different events. Does it cost them anything for you to come to the birthday party? So basically is what I do is I just do a $30 non-refundable booking fee. So that just at least holds them on my schedule and makes them available to me. Mm -hmm. And then I show up and it's all, you know, just we have a run a birthday party special. If it's something else, then we just do it, you know, whatever the ice cream. Do you keep stepping closer? Is it because you're too close? Back away. Okay, all right. And we're back. <laughs> okay, so $30, $30 um, kind of reservation fee. fee. Yep. Okay, so on that, what if someone just wants you to come and they want to pay for it all? Yep, they can, can they do, do that, that too. Yeah, just call me up and say, hey, you know what? I really want you to come over to my neighborhood or we're having a big party. Come on over. And if I've got the time, I come on over. That's awesome. So yeah. And they can just pay for it if they say, hey, just everybody that's coming through, charge me and we'll. That's correct. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, they have block parties, which is so awesome. Um, okay. I went actually to a block party, which was so neat. Yeah. And I just, they says, hi, come on over here. And, and I went over there and I was just on that street. And it so was just cool. happened to be there at the right time. And that's they were awesome. like, heard me coming. And so, yeah. Well, yeah, because this is, just take a okay. sip. Hey, we're back. So. This is a nostalgic thing. This is what yes. we listen for as kids. This is a, this is an important part of childhood. That's right. So I think it's amazing. I think it's yes. awesome. So tell me this. What do you got? What do you sell? So basically, um, my uh, my theory is, what is the fastest way to a kid's heart? Is through his sweet tooth. <laughs> so I <laughs> offer course. everything sweet. So Look I've got this. candy here, and I have all kinds of different ice cream. Um, it can change right now. It's kind of a, you know, crappy time right now to purchase ice cream. Because okay. Now we're back. <laughs> and now I don't remember what we were talking about. She was talking about the, the ice cream. Oh, thing. because it's hard to get ice cream now. Yes. Yeah, so I do have, you know, try to keep the same stock of ice cream because, you know, you want to appeal to the, you know, young and the old. Um, cause it is so nostalgic for elderly people. They yeah. really enjoy it as oh, well yeah. and bring back that, you know, childhood memory. Yeah. That's what it's all about. 
So um, I did try. To okay. And we're back. Okay. So what was? I do try to keep the same ice there cream. It is. However, I do change it up a little bit, um, and so it just makes it kind of fun, something different. Yeah. But you also have candy. Yes. So it's, and I've noticed it's like all the cool, again, the fun. What kids love. What we love. Yep. Jelly beans, nerds, That's ring right. pops, <laughs> Skittles, I mean, airheads. Right, it's exactly. It's fantastic, yeah. And it, it's within their budget. Yes. So I do notice that it tends to, you know, like parents will give, you know, because of it is an old nostalgic thing, they think of the old ice cream truck when they were little, so they send their kids out with a dollar. Right. So, you know. Those days yeah, are gone. Yeah, those days are I believe then, then sometimes I worry he's playing a joke on me. Okay. <laughs> and we're back. Okay. And, okay, this was my joke before we got cut off, <laughs> is back then, it's also when gas was 75 cents a That's gallon. correct, yeah. So you have to remember that same yes. situation. Yeah. yeah. To drive a truck around right now, you are uh, incurring serious Yes. Um, okay. And we're back. <laughs> All right. Since we're having such a hard time on this, Kelly, yeah. being connecting and reconnecting. So in this, if they go to your website, they'll know where you're going or yes. at least an idea. An idea. Or, okay. you know, or they can message me and say, are you coming to my neighborhood? Gotcha. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Do you have a regular route or is it just random? It's kind of random. Okay. Um, as I, you know, I haven't really established a super good route yet because mm -hmm. I am a competitor right. as well. So Okay. Then we're back. All right. <laughs> so check out the website. Take a look. Yeah. You'll probably and then so. All right, Kelly. Tell us one more time the website. So it's Sweet us. Tooth S T or S W T Tooth. Okay, okay. <laughs> and all right. So spell your website again. S W T the number two T H dot com. Perfect. Link below. Check it out. Thank you, Kelly. Your truck you. is adorable. Listen for the sounds. It's coming your way in your neighborhood. Watch the splash pads. Come okay. visit Kelly at Sweet, to Sweet Tooth Ice Cream Truck today. All right, this has been Jesse. Okay. And Jessica Carden with Murdoch Man Wearing Company, your neighbors in the know, keeping you in the know. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you.